Hi fire signs, welcome to my channel. This is Uma and I am doing the August 2018 monthly readings for all fire signs which are Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Welcome guys, come on in, sun moon rising. If it resonates and it fits then awesome, if not then go back to your sun sign and see what the reading is for you. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and prep these cards. We're using two decks. We're pulling three cards for a theme, a challenge, and advice concerning the month of August. And if you would like advice um, for your particular self or your sign, please feel free to contact me, www.umalotusflower.com. All right, but the cards feel ready. So let's concentrate in and let's think about this reading that we're about to do. So timestamp at one minute in. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what the cards are for you for August. So your theme, Aries, is Three of Earth, your challenge, the chariot, and advice for you from Spirit, Deception and Envy. Ooh, Aries, it's about to get spicy in August. Okay, so your theme is about cooperation and compromise. This is about work. It's about being recognized at work for the hard work that you've put in. You spend a lot of time developing your craft and also working well with others. And because of that, you're being recognized and accepted at work. So the theme of the month for August looks very good on the career field, on the, um, the financial field, because you're being recognized and you're producing very high quality work and you're working well with others. The challenge for you is about accepting that public recognition, which I can't for the life of me ever figure out. Aries not wanting to accept recognition, but the chariot card is all about travel and it's all about being recognized for hard work. So two things here, either you really want to take a trip, you really want to go somewhere, but it's just not working out for you or it's a challenge to get on that trip. And it can also talk about the public recognition part of the work that you're doing. Now, another great thing about the chariot is self-discipline and willpower. So you can also be in a vacation kind of mode, not wanting to work out, not really wanting to eat right or get back on your routine. You're probably like, oh, I'll leave that till September when, um, you know, school starts back. I may not even have kids, but you know, all of life seems to start back in September, so I'll wait till then. So just be mindful of that, Aries, that you know you can still create and make some positive forward movement in your goals, whether they are health-related or career-wise, and you want to jump on them and not get sucked into that energy. Now, the advice for you, Aries, is to pay attention to who you are surrounding yourself with. You seem to have people in your corner that are jealous of you, that are lying to you or that are deceiving you and you may not be aware of it, okay? Um, Aries tend to be, I'm not saying that you all are this way, but tend to be about themselves and very much, you know, self, self-concerned and they don't take the time to look around them and see who's really for them or who's not for them. And I feel that in August, you're going to be having a weeding out of people in your life that you thought were for you and then things start to come up and realize that these people really aren't for you. So if I had to sum up Aries the month of August for you, um, you're doing really well on the work front. That's not a problem there, but it seems to be concerning your personal life is where there's going to be some issues, whether it's with self-restraint, um, discipline, or just really understanding the people that are in your corner and if they really are for you. Okay, so that's the reading for Aries. Okay, timestamp at 4 minutes, 12 seconds in, and this is for... Um, what's the other fire sign? Leo. <laughs> this is for Leo, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So Leo, this is your month of August. Your theme is the sun. Brilliant. Your challenge is two of water, and your advice is spiritual union. Leo, lots of stuff going on for you in August. Okay, first of all, all positive cards but some of them are in a challenge position, so let's see what's going on here. Your theme of the month is success, okay? You just came off of your birthday month, 
Some of you, I believe, still have some birthdays in August. And it's just your time. You are shining. Your Leo mane is flowing in the wind. All is well. You are being observed and recognized at work. You are successful. And people can see that. And you're being recognized for all of that. All the things that you've been wanting to manifest are coming true. Your challenge is a very important relationship to you. The two of water is a soulmate relationship. So your personal life is suffering due to the success. Leo's calm down. Some of you might be really out there in terms of your ego and really feeling yourself and spirits reminding you to pay attention to your loved ones, the ones that are in your corner and has been in your corner for a long time because this love relationship is going to be a challenge in the month of August. And your advice is about that same love, re love relationship we're talking about. The spiritual union card is about this relationship being very important. Don't push it to the side. Don't ignore them and give them some time. Okay? It doesn't have to be all about you, Leo. <laughs> Even though you got the sun card and success is coming your way. Okay? Allow yourself to feel the love for someone else and to recognize them as well. Okay? And the final fire sign we have is Sagittarius. So let's see what the month of August looks like for Sagittarius. Timestamp 6 minutes 30 seconds in. Sagittarius, here is your reading. Your theme for August is the Magician. Your challenge is King of Fire. And your advice from Spirit is Base Chakra. So Sagittarius... You are manifesting like crazy in terms of your month of August, okay? You are really doing things. You are using the energy to create what it is that you want. So we can see great things come around for you, Sagittarius. We can see um, inflow of abundance, new opportunities, new job opportunities, new tribe members, you know, like just new relationship. We can see whatever it is that you're creating come to fruition. You're feeling very magical, you're feeling very much in your power, and August is looking to be a very fruitful month for you. However, the challenge for you, Sagittarius, is King of Fire, which talks about focus. So, you can be this magician. See, they both look like they're on the same, you know, they're standing in the same way. But you got to be focused to do it, okay? So that means spending time on your spiritual path, your spiritual discipline, and allowing yourself the fruits the, the fruits of your labor to grow by giving them the ground in which to fertilize on, right? You have to provide the groundwork for all of this to take place. Now, if you're just kind of lazing around, Netflix and chill, um, you're missing a really good opportunity, Sagittarius, because this is your month to shine. Advice from spirit to you is about grounding. That's the base chakra about protection, making sure that you are protected from outside forces, and also about addressing your basic needs. Is your body being taken care of? Are you hydrating? Are you getting enough physical exercise? Are you getting enough rest? Okay? Advice for you is to really make sure you're focusing on your base, your physical body, your root chakra in terms of healing so that you can properly manifest a magical month for yourself. All right. That's the reading for the fire signs. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I look forward to reading for you personally one day. And if you'd like to arrange a personal reading into your love life, your spiritual life, your career, please feel free to contact me at www.umalotusflower.com. Thanks, guys.